welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. It's the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and we welcome you all in this Holy Eucharist. Let us celebrate. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Yes. Through my fault, yes. through my fault, through my most yes. grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth be his to people of good For you Oh, 
Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbors injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days, set enmity aside, remember death and decay, and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor, remember the most highest covenant, and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful, the Lord is kind and merciful. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, the Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, all my being, bless God's name, bless the Of what he 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to accounting, the debtor was brought before him who owned him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of his debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of that servant let him go, and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged to me. Should you not have pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? 
that in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this Sunday scripture readings all spoke very strongly and firmly on one topic, and that is forgiveness. As Christians, forgiveness is a very important aspect of our faith, and we are all told to forgive one another generously, to let go of the anger and hatred in our hearts, to be forgiving just as the Lord our God is rich in mercy and forgives generously. Two weeks, one week before I formally be here in um, St. Genevieve in our parish, I already uh, arrived earlier one week ahead of Father Lawrence. And since Father Alden was very busy packing his things, he asked me Saturday before that, before September 1, if I could hear confession. And I said yes. Actually, I am not yet, strictly speaking or formally, an assistant pastor. But what really drove me to accept the invitation was, how can I say no? for penitents who would like to ask forgiveness and mercy. And last Saturday, our one of our official Saturday for confession, Father and Father Lawrence and myself were very excited. We were ready, we were here. But no one came. But because it was too hot. Remember last, sun, last, last Saturday and Sunday, last weekend? What's the temperature? 117, 116. But even though it's very hot, Father Lawrence and myself were very eager to meet you there. But we understand. Because it's too hot or else we will be burned. Yesterday, it's different. It's kind of, the weather was kind of different. And we were very happy. There were people who came for confession, asking for mercy, asking for compassion, asking for forgiveness. And that is the message of the gospel for this Sunday. But the thing is, as we were forgiven, the gospel the readings for this Sunday is encouraging all of us to do the same. To be forgiving as the Father is forgiving. To be merciful as Jesus is merciful. As, and be compassionate as the Lord is compassionate. The Lord Jesus in our gospel passage today spoke very firmly on this matter when St. Peter asked him, Lord, how many times must I forgive the faults of my brother or sister? And the Lord answered to his suggestion of seven times with an even greater number of 77 times or in another 70 times, seven times. The use of the number seven here is symbolic and does not literally mean that we must forgive exactly seven 77 or 70 times 7 times. It's not mathematical. In fact, the number 7 is frequently used number throughout the scriptures as a symbolic number of perfection and many things associated with God number in 7 such as the 7 gifts of the Holy Spirit, the 7 sacraments of the church, the 7 holy archangels ministering in the presence of God. The seven spirits of God in the visions, among others. That is why the use of 77 or 7 times, 70 times 7 represent the perfection of forgiveness. What does it mean? Forgive, forgive, forgive. Amen? 
What does this mean, brothers and sisters in Christ? It means that we must learn how to forgive without end, forgiving unconditionally, forgive without being transactional and to forgive with all our hearts, with all our whole being. Forgiveness is something that is very difficult and it's something that many people find very difficult to do. But it is what each and every one of us as Christians are called to do. That's what makes us different from the rest of the people. We have the capacity and to do forgiving as Jesus is forgiving. Why is that so? That is because to forgive means that we learn to let go of our ego and pride, of our hatred and perhaps jealousy among other things. Many of us cannot forgive because we cannot find it in ourselves to do all this. And more often than not, it is our ego and pride that are the greatest barriers in preventing us from forgiving others. And we must know what brothers and sisters in Christ by remembering again today's scripture reading, particularly the gospel parable, that unless we forgive others, how can we expect to be forgiven ourselves? It's so difficult. Even I as a priest experienced that. We have to let go of our ego, of our pride. What does it mean? When we center on us. He paid me. He hurt me. How about me? See? Ego, the pride. Not unless we really surrender everything to Jesus, we cannot forgive. Let us not focus on the emotion of pain. That this person pain me. This person hurt me. We really have to undergo the healing process. Yes, I understand that. But then again, let not allow ourselves be eaten by anger. But instead, allow our hearts be touched by Jesus so that love of His would touch that scar, that pain that wound caused by other people thus the healing will come in and thus forgiveness my dear friends i am telling you the truth basing from my experience and from what i have read it is difficult but through the help of jesus lift everything to jesus it's not impossible that we receive forgiveness. And that same forgiveness and love that we receive from Jesus is the measure, it's the tool, the instrument that we are to give so that we could give and render forgiveness. So let us all pray to Jesus to continuously be with us, heal us, so that we could be the instrument of peace and forgiveness to everyone. I am deeply touched by the responsorial psalm. While we are uttering it, it's very healing to me. And my dear friends, let's be quiet. Ask Jesus to heal us as we sing again the responsorial psalm as I end the sharing of mine. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Slow to Jesus to touch our hearts. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Slow 
Remember, hashtag, the Lord is kind and merciful. Can we say that again? Don't forget hashtag. Again, hashtag. Otra vez. One, two, three. Hashtag. Thank you very much. Please all stand and all together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, creator of heaven and earth. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified then and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And I see that at the right hand of the God, Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us bring our prayers for one another and the world to our merciful and forgiving God. are baptized into Christ for collaboration among all churches in sharing his message of forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and reconciliation among ancient enemies, especially in the Middle East, let us pray to the Lord. For catechists and all who share the good news of God's reign, and for all who yearn to know our loving God better, let us pray to the Lord. For the safety of all first responders and for the peace of mind of their loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. For grandparents everywhere to know the love of their children and grandchildren and to be treated with respect and dignity, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, for all who suffer from COVID-19, and for all who have died, especially Roberto Pascual Sr., Alexis Vito Credo, Emmanuel Tubo, Reynaldo Talud, let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of Rupe, Tubo, and Efe, let us pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. O oh God of mercy, your forgiveness knows no bounds. Teach us the way of reconciliation and peace, and graciously hear all this, our prayers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. We 
with his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life. God is love. We who break this bread are one body. We who share this cup. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Look with favor on, us on our supplication, O Lord, that in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord, through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. We are voices we pray, joined with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed, O Lord, indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Hope of the the body of Christ. Jesus Christ. The body of 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 Christ. As we proclaim your death, as we recall your light, we remember your promise to return again. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ. Source of lasting love, bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us love. Let us, let us pray. 
May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and that our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise. Kindly be seated for a while. Hello. Hello. Okay, so good morning. So just a couple of announcements. So um, for our celebration of the Mass on Sundays, weekends, so there's uh, no need to register. It is a first-come, first-served basis. The gate will remain open during the Mass so that people are able to come in. So we notice that, uh, of course, you know, the frustrations of people when they come and then they cannot enter because the gate is closed. So let's uh, welcome everyone. And of course, um, so people can still st uh, stay in their cars and then, of course, the uh, chairs will be prepared here for, for you. Okay, so it's a first come, first serve basis starting uh, this weekend. And then starting on Tuesday, the weekday mass will be celebrated at 8 a.m. So no longer 9 a.m., but 8 o'clock a.m. starting Tuesday. And we will also start celebrating the mass on Saturday at 8 a.m. Okay. So the weekday masses until Saturday will be at 8 o'clock a.m. And we are following the same schedule for the weekend masses. For the meantime, we uh, keep the schedule 6.30 for the vigil mass on Saturday in Spanish. And then on Sundays, 8.30, 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. all in English. And then we'll be making the necessary changes and adjustments as the season will be changing. Okay. So again, later on, we expect some adjustments because of the change of season. And of course, certainly we need to continue observing strictly the protocols, social distancing, and then sanitizing of our hands as we come into, the, uh, into this uh, parking lot, into the church for the celebration of the Mass. And the chairs will be disinfected after every celebration of the mass and we'll be needing of course more volunteers to uh, do that and uh, another announcement so for the uh, san lorenzo ruiz any any announcement about the san lorenzo okay. hello as far as san lorenzo ruiz uh, free celebration mass will be on uh, september 27 at 6 30 p.m okay all right, so, so everybody is invited okay. on that day and time. All right. Okay. Thank you. And uh, as your pastor and, of course, Father uh, Al, so I know you've been supporting uh, St. Genevieve Church through all those years. And, uh, of course, especially during these trying times, difficult times, during these extraordinary times, we uh, need and uh, we appeal to you for your continued uh, financial help. So you can either bring your envelopes here or mail them, spread the word, mail them. Or you can, uh, of course, give your donations online. So visit our website, the St. Genevieve Church website for online giving or giving of your donation. And so thank you very much for your generosity. Thank you for your continued support to St. Genevieve Church. And may God continue to bless you. Thank you. And before I end, let's review. What is our hashtag for today? Hashtag? Hashtag, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and love one another. Thanks be to God. Good morning and have a good day, everyone. Be safe. from your sleep Thank you. a new day is dawning Thank you. for all those
city. 